Praise the Lord Jesus and a pleasant uh, Monday morning, my friend. Indeed, it is the start of a brand new week. Amen. And we are truly grateful and thankful for the faithfulness of the true and the living God. Praise God. Amen. Let's go to the scripture for today's devotion coming from Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 25. Not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. So the, the word, the meaning of encouraging in this scripture, it means to strengthen. Amen. So when we attend our different churches, we are going there to get strength. Amen. We strengthen each other. Even as the scripture said, iron sharpened iron. Praise God. So we, my friend, as believers in Christ, we encourage one another in the Lord. We strengthen one another. Praise God. We build up each other. Praise God. When you attend, amen, the house of the Lord, you will hear a song that will encourage you. You will hear a word of encouragement. You will hear something, praise God, that will encourage you to continue to press another mile, to continue to press, amen, another furlong, to continue to press toward that mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. And so that is why, amen, the apostle said, do not forsake, amen, the assembling or the meeting together, amen, in the Sunday in the house of the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Because that is where you get your strength because the word for encouraging means to be strengthened. Amen. Words of encouragement are words of strength. Praise God. That will give you the power. Amen. Praise God. The determination to keep pressing toward the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus praise God so my friend continue to go to that place of worship praise God don't let anyone stop you from attending your church lifting up the name of Christ giving him the glory praise God because many persons would want to see you not coming to church and they would rejoice for, for not seeing you in church but don't let anybody stop you from worshiping your god for remember the wheat and the tears must grow together until the day of harvest praise god so go my friend worship him in spirit and in truth lift up his name give him thanks because indeed he is a good god praise god and we don't want to get slack in our ways we want to remain Amen. In the word, in the will of God, and the word encourages us to come together as believers. Praise God. And the truth is, when we come together, there will some will be uh, thorns and some will be wheat. Amen. But praise God, the wheat and the tears have to grow together until the day of harvest. Praise God. Amen. So don't let anyone stop you from going to your place of worship and lifting up your God in the name of the Lord Jesus because you will get a word of encouragement out of that service in Jesus name let us pray father we thank you this morning for this word for your faithfulness your goodness your loving kindness we thank you God for blood coverage upon our lives we thank you God Almighty for your continued protection even as we face this an another week praise God it's not by might it's not by power it's by your spirit amen so have your way right now God in the life of this person watching a helpless 
first God, to be encouraged, God Almighty, to go, O oh God, to their place of worship, lifting up your name, amen, and being strengthened, amen, which is the word for encouragement, amen, to be strengthened in the spiritual man so they can fight the good fight of faith. Cover us under your blood this week, God, and protect us, God, from the wiles and attacks of the enemy. Keep us as the apple of the eye and let your will continually be done for it's all about you and not about us. Help us, God Almighty, to lose ourselves and find it, Lord, in thee because you, God Almighty, is the great God who is worthy of all our praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you believe it, put it in the box. Lord, I will lose myself and find it in thee. Be blessed.